going to have a, a few remarks by the two artists that are featured today. Oh, okay. there you are. There you are. <laughs> but not quite. Um, I'm Ann Caramanico, and I just want to thank you all for being here. I'm very grateful that you showed up. Um, what Mary Ann and I are, have done together is kind of a dream come true. Mary Ann has been my teacher and my mentor and my very good friend for years, and it's a great privilege. And Richard, thank you for nurturing me in my art as well, supporting me in my shows. I've been part of this gallery for much less time than Mary Ann, but being part of this has given me a lot of confidence as an artist, and I, I, I'm very grateful to you for that. I do want to say a couple things without boring you silly. As most of you know, my husband and I started a school in Cambodia in 2007. And it's an ongoing concern of, of ours, and it is now the Karamanico Foundation. So much has happened. It's just, it just is mind-boggling. Things happen so quickly. What this, a lot of this is about is our connection with Villanova University and their engineering department and the students that went over there to teach them the fundamentals of engineering design. I've never seen kids smile like this before. They clearly had the best time of their lives. They got to design rockets, cars, um, and boat hulls. And now a bunch of them are going to Phnom Penh from this very rural district of Ratnakiri, which is like flying to the moon. They're going this week. It will be a life-changing experience, not only for them, but mainly for me. And I'm happy to say my husband, Tom, will be over there with them. So Richard is part of this collaborative effort here today that the sale of the artwork, is, thanks to him um, making a, a contribution to go to the school so that we can continue our work. There's an ever-increasing number of things to do. Thank you for that. If you feel moved to do it, <clears throat> I could suggest just an outright donation if you don't want to buy a piece of art, which I find actually kind of understandable, um, <laughs> which leads me into talking about my art. I woke up and I said, there's, there's a connection between my art and what's going on in Cambodia, and that is transformation. Um, most of the work that is up here and there, this is Mary Ann's work here if you had just came in. My work is back there and up here and it was all done within the last 10 months during which time I was going through, have been going through, am going through a great deal of personal transformation and it struck me that there's a lot of cross-breeding if you will, between what I'm doing here in Cambodia, what we're doing in Cambodia, and my personal transformation. I won't get into a lot of detail, but it's very basic, and it's a lot about things ending and things beginning and transformation, and not without whimsy, <coughs> I would add. Um, the hug thief is over there, and then this little alcove in here is um, a group of prints called Margaret's Sheep, a herd of sheep that I got to walk over inked up plates. So just so you know, it's not all incredibly serious and, you know, going in and digging deep. Some of it is just having fun with animals. I want to thank Mary Ann for being my very, very good friend and teaching me how to see and how to look at my own art and other people's art. I've learned so much from you. Thank you. And I'm so glad I got through this without crying. <laughs> <laughs> one, one final thing I do want to say is my sister Peggy, both my sisters are here. My sister Peggy um, is very much part of this effort in Cambodia, um, having built the first preschool in rural Cambodia. 
and you can see a couple of pictures of the kids. Talk about a transformation. It is, it's a remarkable piece of work that she's done and is still doing. So thanks to my two sisters for coming down. And thank you. Ditto. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for coming today. As you know, I have been living... Bruce, where are you? Here. <laughs> Bruce and I have moved to Colorado. Colorado is our official residence now, and um, we are loving our life there. But I'm a Philadelphian. <laughs> so I'm so touched that all of you are here. And the work that you see here is a direct result of having been surrounded by the great western landscape for the last two years. I've been really interested in the comments throughout and everything from, you know, you're taking a lot of chances to, oh, your work looks more realistic. And really, it's just what's coming out as a direct response to what's around me. The mountains have infiltrated my, my being and the clouds and the sky. And so my artistic challenge that I've set for myself is how do I communicate this, this beyond amazing beauty without it being pretty or sweet. And so I hope that this body of work shows that. It's, it's astonishingly gorgeous out there in many different ways. So thank you all so much for coming. And to Richard and Barbara, if you've read my little appreciation, <laughs> I came in this gallery in the early 80s because of my brother who connected me and Richard very unceremoniously <coughs> said, the work isn't there yet. <laughs> two year, and Barbara very sweetly said, come back. So I came back two years later, the work still isn't there yet. <laughs> so I just assumed I would never be showing at Rosenfeld Gallery. And 12 years later I was showing in New York City and came in to see a show with a hat and scarf because I didn't want him to recognize me. <laughs> Seriously. And Richard did recognize me. <laughs> and that was the beginning of 19 years of an, uh, a wonderful relationship as dealer to artist and great friends. And T Barbara. Tough love. <laughs> he was not afraid to tell me when the work sucked <laughs> and when the work was wonderful. And Barbara has always been a part of that too. And I think all of you should know with the closing of the Rosenfeld Gallery, it's an end of a certain era in the Philadelphia art scene. Richard and Barbara have created an art a community for the artists who are Rosenfeld artists that is very special. And all of you who have come today, I see so many of your faces over the years, and you're part of that community. And that is huge. So Richard and Barbara are moving to Florida, <laughs> like everyone else, because they have grandchildren there. Not because they're retiring and moving to Florida. <laughs> so thank you. And thank you for inviting me to join Anne on this amazing day. Okay. Thank you.